हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज संदीप फ्रॉम सीरियाम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मुंबई टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एप्पल आई मैक्स पावर सीक्वेंस एंड दिस पावर सीक्वेंस इज अ द फर्स्ट टाइम्स और इट्स वेरी डिटेल्ड सो ऑल द सिग्नल्स एंड ऑल द वोल्टेजेस इज गिवन इन वेरी एनिमेटेड वे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दिस थिंग्स ऑन वेरी प्रॉपर्ली ऑन सीक्वेंस सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कांसेप्ट then you can able to repair any apple imax systems so i'll explain you in this animations so let's start so in our channels we teach you all the technical stuffs very details knowledge about apple laptops imax and uh, windows laptop how to repair we teach a signal level solutions so we believe in the accuracy a pinpoint solutions and we give the tough technical knowledge in a very simple animated way so in the first times in the uh, laptops or apple imax industries we are going to release our another video which explain how to repair apple imax systems so here i have given some sequence which are come one after another and uh, if you follow this sequence you follow this all the steps you follow all the signals then i am damn sure sure about you can able to repair any apple imac systems so in the screen you can see there are some components first you can see here is a pch platform controller hub and here you can see the smc chip system management controller chips and here are some buck converters here is buck converter for the 3.42 voltages here is a buck two buck converters basically for 3 volt and 5 volt here is a buck converter for the ram supply here is a buck converter for the system supply that is a 1.05 volt and here is a buck converter for cpu core and the graphics core like different buck converters are there and different switches also there like here is a one switch here is a one switch here is a one switch so different signals and voltage switches are there on the all signals goes one after another and if you understand this concept then you can repair any apple imac systems so here in the apple imac system there's a smps is used that is a 12 volt and uh, this is a connector for this uh, 12 volt smps output and this voltage is called the g3h voltage g3h voltage means the power of voltages that means once you connect the ac power to the smps this 12 volt will be generated and this 12 volt is called the pp12 underscore g3 underscore ac dc voltages okay so you have to check this voltage if this voltage is not coming then your smps may be faulty so you have to check the smps and if this if this voltage is coming then the smps is okay so you have to check this voltage and when you connect the power to the imac system then this 12 volt goes to like this it goes to here the was switch here is a switch and here is a buck converter this is a 3.42 buck converter it's called a pp12 underscore g3h and this 3.42 voltage is going to the smc chip is a system management controller in any apple imac smc chip should first turn on so that is the main criteria so you have to check this output voltage that is a pp3v42 underscore g3h that is a 3.42 voltage will be generated and uh, if this voltage is coming then this buck converter is okay and if this 3.42 is not coming then this buck converter is faulty so you have to go to that particular section and trust the problem trust that chip this is a single chip buck converter so you have to find where it is chip you have to open the board viewer and check the inputs and output if the input is coming and if the output is not coming then the chip is faulty okay so this is a g3h voltage i already told you the g3h g3h voltage means this voltage is turn on before power on button press okay so this 3.42 voltage will be generated and is given to the smc smc is got the power and the next signal that smc is required that is the smc underscore the reset 
This is a SMC reset signal. SMC should require a reset signal to turn on. And this is a basically a delay circuit. Delay in the sense, first SMC get this uh, 3.42 power and after 10 milliseconds it get the 3 volt that is a SMC reset. If it is a here is a 0 volt then your SMPS won't turn on. It's a deactivate SMC. It should require your 3 volt to turn on the SMC chips. Okay, so this is step number 3 and the another signal that require that is called a RTC reset. RTC reset also is require a 3 voltage. Okay, so now the both reset is active like SMC reset is 3 volt, RTC reset is 3 volt. Now our Apple iMac is ready to work. Now we have to press this power button. Step number 5 is a power button. It's called a SMC underscore on off underscore L. This is a power switch power button, the user power button. So here is a 3 volt and once we press this button, this 3 volt goes to 0 and when we release it, it's come back to 3. Like 303 bounce will be generated here. Okay. So now we'll press the power button. So this is my power button. I press the power button then 303 pulse will be generated. SMC get the information that the power button is pressed. And after that, SMC release one signal that is called smc underscore pm underscore g2 underscore en Re friends remember the signal signal name in any apple imac system there's the signal names are the same so you have to check this signal after pressing the power button the three volt will be generated like this that is step number six smc underscore pm underscore g2 underscore en signal this three volt will be generated and this 3 volt enable this uh, switch here is a switch FAT switch is here and once you get the enable signal then this 12 volt will be passed to this side it's called a S5 voltage PP12 V underscore S5 this S5 voltage will be generated it's given to this input to this two buck converters and given enable to the 3 volt buck converter and this signal is called a PM EN underscore REG underscore P3V3 underscore S5 signal is given to enable signal to this chips now now this 3 volt and 5 volt chips get enabled on its 3 volt section that 3 volt will be generated is S5 voltage this 3 volt will be generated and this 3 volt is given to the PCH now the PCH is turned on and this voltage is called VCC DSW the VCC DSW is a power source to the PCH chips that's a step number 8 so friends you have to check this signal 3 volt here and if the 3 volt is coming here that means step number 1 to step number 8s are okay any IMAX there are sequence there are different different stages like G3H stage S5 states, S4 states, S3 states and S0 states. There are different different power levels are there. So it's turn on one after another. So first it is G3H. G3H is a off states and once we press a power button then the, the IMAC is turned on and is entered into the S5 state. After completing the S5 states is entered into the S4 states after completing S4 state is entered into S3 state and then entered into the S0 state that is a fully on all the power sources are on okay so this uh, now we entered into S5 states the uh, PCH got the power and the PCH then this 3 volt it uh, generate this P power good signal that is called a PM underscore P good underscore RG underscore 3v3 underscore s5 so this power good signal will be generated and given to this and gate there are different different gates are there used in this board the and gate and the always and gates require it. all inputs if the all inputs are present then the only the output will be present that is a criteria for the and gate so now this and get the input this signal and he get the input signal from 
SMCL. So it's called a PM underscore DSW underscore power good. So now both the inputs are present, then only the output will be present, and this signal is called RSM RST. This signal is called the RSM RST. The RSM RST also again very important signal. It's a reset the PCH. It's called a resume and reset. The three volt will be generated and activate the power management section in the PCH. So the PCH power management is active now. And after that, the, there is another signal is generated. It's called the post power button, the PM underscore power button. Step number 11. This step number 11 generate a 303 pulse to the PCH informing that power button is pressed and is asking the confirmation from PCH to wake up the power source. Now PCH has to respond after getting the signal and now the PCH will generate the three slip signal. Our power source is on the slip mode. Now the PCH giving the confirmation signal that is a slip to wake up signal. He is sending the three signals called SLP underscore S5, SLP underscore S4, SLP underscore S3. So friends you have to remember this signal. So in off state this all three signals are 0, 0, 0 volt but when PCH get this input signal he just turn on and generate a 3 volt 3 volt 3 volt here and if generate a 3 volt 3 volt here then the PCH giving the confirmation to the SMC to turn on the all the power outputs so it generate SLP S5 SLP S4 and SLP S3 so now this 3 enabled to the different different buck converter is given enabled to the 5 volt and this SLP S4 given enabled to the RAM supply and SLP S3 given enabled to the CPU core. So in this uh, way friends you have to remember all the signals. So in here in our technical institute we provide all technical knowledge to our student in very simple way. So any student can understand very tough knowledge in very simple way. You can use this book to repair all the technical knowledge is given in very simple way so we'll go to the next and after getting the enable signal to the different different uh, power enable then the 5 volt will be generated this 5 volt is called the pp 5 e underscore s4 voltage will be generated step number 13 and then here is get an enable signal pm underscore en reg underscore ddq then this ram voltage will be generated there are two ram voltages basically one is called the ppv ddq and PP, DDR, VTT. There are DDQ and VTT. VTT voltage always half to the VDD. So it's depend on the RAM. It is a DDR3, then 1.5, DDR3L, then 1.35, and it's the DDR4, then 1.2. That is a VDD voltage. And VTT voltage is always half to the VTT. So this voltage will be generated VDD, and the VTT voltage will be generated at step number 14. And the next is 14 is this uh, the now our Apple IMAX is entered into the S0 states. S0 is the final state is the CPU core states. So this uh, 12 volt pass from this switch to here it's called a PP 12 volt underscore S0 states. And now there are three powers are left. So after completing the RAM supply this RAM power generate a power good signal and this power good signal given to this buck converter that means this power good output is given to his enable okay like this like this so this is step number 15 at step number 15 1.05 that is a system voltage this 1.05 is a core voltage for the pch that's at step number 16 and 1.05 voltage will be generated and this voltage is given to the PCH okay so this is step number 15 after this then there are a different enable signal will be generated for the CPU core and the graphics core okay the CPU core voltage somewhere around 1 volt 30 ampere and the graphics core voltage also somewhere around the same that is from 1 volt to 1.8 volt 
and CPU core voltage will be generated that is a S0 and the graphics core voltage will also it's a S0 state at step number 18 okay so now the our all power sources are turned on all power sources are working fine and here is the one another AND gate which check all the input whether the all inputs are there or not if the all inputs are there means the all power goods are there this power good this power good this power good if the all power goods are there then this AND gate will generate a PM underscore PCH underscore system underscore power good OK signal OK so this is a final power OK signal to the PCH saying that the all powers are OK the all powers are stable now the PCH can proceed for the further signal so friends you have to check step number 19 piece PM underscore PCH underscore system underscore power OK signal this is step number 19 3 volt will be here and if this 3 volt is here then that means your all power sources are okay from step 1 to step number 19 okay so once this pch get this input system power okay then pch will be generate a plt reset pch will generate a plt this is called the platform reset is reset the entire motherboard and process for the next steps so friends in this way, I explain you how the iMac power system works, how the flow chart is there. So simply you have to follow from step number 1 to step number 20. And uh, just follow all the signals. If it is uh, your iMac is uh, dead, it's not powering on, then you have to follow this signal one after another. We have in our institutes, uh, we provide a pinpoint repair techniques, all the tough technical knowledge, the difficult technical knowledge be given very simple and animated way so student can easily understand how to diagnose the laptop, then desktops, then Apple, iMac, MacBook Pro, then Apple Airs and iMac system from the latest to latest model. We give the pinpoint accuracy and the pinpoint signal to the students so they can easily diagnose any kind of Apple products and Windows laptops. We have this for you. Uh, this is a book for the Apple MacBook Pro and Apple Air and iMac systems. This is in this book we provide all the signals like uh, if it is a Apple uh, MacBook Pro or Air or the iMac is dead then the, there are different different flow charts are there like have you seen this our uh, video that uh, the sequence are there such a so many flow charts are there in this book. It's a dead, it's a no display, then dim display, then white display. Everything is mentioned in this book. This is a color books, which give you the unique idea of the repair, the tough technical knowledge given in very simple way. Such a flow charts are there in this book. So it's a very simple, it's a color book and uh, like this, if it is uh, dead, then such a flow charts are there for the different problems, so the different flow charts are there, so you can able to repair Apple products and it's give you all the, uh, all the chips, like uh, different, different chips, how they work, like the SMC, then 2.2 chips and the SOC, uh, then uh, bias programming, all the, all the repair techniques are mentioned in this book. To available for this book, you can contact us on the below number and we will deliver you this book on your place. So thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.